<clears throat> and welcome back to Crypto Hulk Channel. Oh my God! <clears throat> yep, had to have a Saturday PM show. It was my day off, and uh, I was looking on my phone, and I'm like, I see a news article, and I see another one, and another, and another. I'm like, oh, you know what? I gotta have a show. The stuff that we got going on. Who man. <clears throat> Big moves getting busted out there, all right? I'm telling you, I'm seeing all this coming together. They're getting all set up. They're all getting ready. It hasn't taken off yet. For brand new people, you're not going to be rich tomorrow. But what I'm seeing is these big companies, they're busting moves. Ripple's right in there. The cryptos that we want, they're getting things set up. I'm watching it. Um, gold. <clears throat> gold is a massive part of this. We're going into it. I went and got some gold today. Haven't gotten any crypto for four years. Bought, started buying gold a year ago when it was $1,850 an ounce. Now it's almost $1,000 more than that. Well, okay, not let's not exaggerate. It's uh, it's about five to six hundred. Five or six hundred bucks per ounce more. So that would be about 30% increase. It had you invested in gold a year ago, right now you'd have a 30% profit. With with one of the safest investments you can have on the planet. <clears throat> gold. Yes. With Russia stating they're gonna double their amount of gold they're gonna buy every month. Look, they said that official. They just put it that out in the open. Guess who else is going to do it? Everybody else. I want you to watch. The price of gold is going to skyrocket. Okay? So say it's not going to crypto skyrocket like 10,000% and shit. Although gold might double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, on and on. Okay? So just thought I'd put that out there. If you're somebody who's got all your crypto that you need, then I mean don't don't overboard on the crypto shit. Don't do it. Figure out, let's say this, an XRP price of a thousand bucks. Let's say it goes to a thousand. Could you live on that the rest of your life? I know it'd be tough if you had 10, 20, 30, 50 million. But um <clears throat> if you could live on it for a thousand a piece, how many XRP you got, then that's probably enough. Let's say XRP goes to five, ten, fifty thousand, hundred thousand bucks, of course. But just think of worst case scenario. That's how I plan my shit. Worst case scenario, okay? I bought some XRP four years ago. Haven't bought any since because you know what? If it ain't going to happen, it's not going to happen. Whether I have one of them or whether I have 10 gazillion XRP. If that shit don't go up, it don't matter how much I have. Do you understand my thought process? This is what I'm trying to teach new people. <clears throat> You'll hear these other channels. Oh, back in the truck up and all that dumb fucking shit. These dumbasses are lying to you, okay? <clears throat> what they're doing is trying to get ratings, trying to create false hope in you. This channel, my channel, is nowhere near false hope. It's all facts. I dig deep. I find facts. I show them. These other channels, oh, chart analysis is showing this. Oh, that's interesting. And all these other fucking stupid-ass things. Oh, look. He made another cartoon. What's the hidden meaning in the cartoon? See all that dumb shit? Oh, these other people. Oh, we got the sun coming over the moon and the, the eclipse. And according to planet Mickey Mouse, this is going to happen on the seventh day. Seriously? I don't watch those channels. I don't watch anybody anymore. I'm, I'm so sick of the dumb shit. <clears throat> Dennis H. Great things coming on the horizon. I don't need a fake-ass Ripple movie to tell me the truth. I come here. Man, all, all that promos. Ripple, oh my God. Ripple's like a, a government, for God's sakes. Chenzo Z. Chenzo, that's your first super chat on a live stream. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. See, what I do, brand new people, is I have people get memberships and or... If you can afford it and all that stuff, people give donations and stuff. 
That way you get 100% free and honest information. Information you won't find on other channels because the way they make it, to buy the sponsor stuff and uh, that's how it goes. And I call out the dumb shit on them and then they stop, they stop certain I've called out bullshit in the past. People getting ripped off. Yeah. Anyhow, let's move on. My name's Crypto Hawk. Not a financial advisor, not a crypto advisor, none of those things. Um, don't buy anything I tell you to buy. And then 1970 Legend shows up, opens up the recruitment office on a Saturday night. At least it's Saturday night here in uh, California. <clears throat> Nineteen seventy legend. Julian Cato got a free membership. Leanne Christensen got a free membership. Carasenio Shaza DS ten ninety got a free membership. Berg thirty three buds of consciousness. Lovely. You got Outback somewhere. Sheik Hassan. Edward Gianjo, Seth Walters, David M, Tommy G got a free membership. Hoddle Dom, Paul Sanchez, Biscuit Louise, Christoph W, W, Kane Maslin, Kevin McKeever, Stub, Stubby Wubby, Brilliant, MC Prosperity, Oh, wait, all those people got memberships by 1970 legend. Now, MC Pros underscore Prosperity comes in with 10 memberships, brand new people. Now he's got 30 brand new people of this channel. Brilliant. Brian F., Delilah Martin, Stefan Camacho, Crypto Curtis, Steve, Steve ODXRP. It's kind of a cool name. All your names are cool, by the way. I want to be special. I want a blue star. Or I want a gold star at the top of my page. <clears throat> Brittany. ACDN Mystic. Select Shots. Brian Cutler. Eric Maher. All those people got memberships by MC Prosperity. Oh. Jason. Shots. Wait, wait, wait. Jason Schach comes in with 10 members. Okay, new people. Check this out. This is how my channel works. I don't call these people. Where's my Where's my celly? I don't call these people and say, hey, hey, um, get on the show tonight and call or give 10 people membership. Like, this is very interesting what we got going on. <clears throat> new people, like, these are just regular people. Like, I don't, I've never met any of these people. On any of my channel, I've never met any of the people. What I find interesting is a person who watches my show, generally they don't believe shit that I say in the beginning. They usually watch because they like, if they watch my show in the beginning, <clears throat> you're a nonconformist, you hate the system, whatever side it is, both sides are bought off. You want someone's going to tell you the truth. You know something bigger is coming, but you don't know what it is. Watch my channel. At first, you just love all the screaming and yelling and cussing and putting people down and shit in the rude, the vulgar language. It's uh, some people are attracted to that. <laughs> some people are attracted to that. Now, I'm telling you from past experience what people have told me. But then after a certain period of time, it's generally 30 days, 60 days. People start listening to Crypto Hulk and they start thinking and they're like, you know what? This motherfucker knows what he's talking about. <laughs> they start seeing the news and stuff that I bring and how it relates to real world. And then if I predict something, then a lot of that comes true. And they're like, damn, that Crypto Hulk dude said that shit was going to happen. And it did. Then they start watching real close. Then they get a membership. And then they're just like hooked. They love the fucking channel. Because they know they got access to uh, asking me a question in the top chat. <clears throat> I have a special guest, maybe for next week. Uh, somebody that's on this channel. And they want to uh, do a speakerphone, open forum, total conspiracy. <clears throat> I said that would be absolutely fun. I'd love it. Maybe it'll be in a week or two. I'm try I was trying to coordinate something with this person, but they had family over today and they couldn't do it. I'm like, damn, man. Now we gotta watch with a conspiracy. Um 
I'll use my cell phone because I'll I'm going to talk to this particular person that's on my channel. But I'll have the Crypto Hulk phone where only members can call in, and I'll allow both members, the four ninety nine and the nine ninety nine, um, next week. <clears throat> it's possible next week. And see if my uh, associate, I won't tell you who this person is right now, but um, we're gonna have a speaker phone where, in their views, this other person's views, they're way more conspiracy than me. Like I'm gonna have to really be like, hey, shh, shh, don't don't be saying that or something, because this. I mean, I've got the show blown up a lot where they just like turn my show off like midstream and come back tomorrow, Crypto Hulk. <clears throat> so we're going to have some fun. I don't think I'm going to be drinking because I'll definitely lose a channel because I'm going to bring up or my this other person is going to bring up something and it's going to be so damn controversial that there won't be Crypto Hulk channel anymore because the uh, censorship is going to just like fucking delete the whole channel, like make it go bye bye gone. So I got to make a rule with this other person, no alcohol. Um, I decided to do this on YouTube and not Twitter spaces. Um, now, yeah, so there you have it. <clears throat> and let's see here. <clears throat> um, let me go through the memberships that people gave. Let's see, select shots. Jason Shotch. 10 memberships, Dev, Jay Didone, Wade T, and Nolan Richards. Then the dude, that person's been a member before. Enigmatus, SJ, Phoenix and Dragon. Hold on there. Let's find Phoenix and Dragon. J Text, Brian Michael, Luke Ferreria. Those people got memberships by Jason Schatz. Then we've got S. Haribe Dash One gave 10 people memberships. And it starts with Quan Turner, Von A. Busy, Srid, Srid, Mr. Stefan. Mr. Stefan is now a member. S. K. Kathy K. Smokey Yindo, Francis Firebug. Those people got memberships by S. Haribe-01. And then we get into Downtown Brown 62. Thanks for that donation. The best show on the planet. I, uh, I admire that. I try my best. I honestly do. This job is over 40 hours a week for me. Uh, it's kind of like my life. I haven't had a vacation of four years. I went to Vegas for like two days or something a couple of years ago. That was fucking not good. So I don't know about this year. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's another story. What the word? I don't know what the word vacation is, but uh, we'll get there one day. Um, <clears throat> Dennis H. I guess I could do shows from a remote location like once a day. Wouldn't be two a day. I'll think about maybe like a Mexico, short Mexico trip five days or something, and then I can broadcast each day. And <clears throat> All right, Dennis H., thank you very much for that donation. Two days ago at Incheon, Seoul Airport, some Korea assets were talking up Ripple. All excited with some current news. I loved it. Well, I know something's going on. Like, you guys know, Ripple announced um, their stablecoin. Then all of a sudden now, Hong Kong's talking about dropping stablecoins. Like, I'm telling you. Ripple leads with this, okay? Like, they came out with custody. Da, 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 da. Like, I'm telling you, it's all coming. <clears throat> it's kind of like this big snake that's very quiet, and you're out in the, the jungle somewhere, and you got your Walkman on or whatever. I guess people don't use Walkman. Uh, that's like a 90s, 80s, 90s term. You got your Air Buds on. That's the new term if you're young and hip and cool. You know how to get jiggy with it at the Ripple Las Vegas party. Um, but you got your Air Buds in. Wasn't that a movie, Air Bud, like with some fucking dog or something? I never watched, I don't watch dumb shit animal movies. Um, but you got your Air Buds in or Air Pods. I think they're called Air Pods in. Yeah. Um, well, damn, Crypto Hulk. <clears throat> and then the snake is coming up behind you. And you don't know. And this snake is fucking massive. <clears throat> and it's getting really behind you. 
and you're just sitting there bebopping to your music, whatever you listen to, and then the snake comes up and gets you. Okay, that's what's going on. <clears throat> Jason Shot says, hats off to you, Hulk. Dang, thank you very much. I appreciate all that. I wanted to make a show on a Saturday night. I made it a point to get home very early at like 4, 3.30. <clears throat> it's important. The shit's important. The show is important. Wade T. Wade, thank you very much for your donation. Crypto Hawk, the only show on YouTube I support. That's totally cool. I try my best to make sure you're all prepared so you know all the stuff. Since you guys are my sponsors, now who am I loyal to? The fucking sponsors, not some fucking company. See how my channel works? It's like this for a reason. I'm responsible not to some corporate sponsors, but to people that get a membership and then, then those that can afford it, the top chat. That's how you know. There's no bullshit on the channel. Otherwise, I start losing top chat people and members go bye-bye. The only thing, uh, there's nothing to sell on my channel. Banger 91. Crypto Hulk information is brilliant. Well, I, uh, I'll concur with that one. <clears throat> Keep up the good work, new people. You need to listen. From Melbourne, Australia. Let's see what somebody said here. Wait, hold on a second. But that was a cool one. I like seeing that. I'm scrolling down, looking through comments real quick. Doing a little meet and greet. It's a weekend. <clears throat> Cognitive dissonance. Yes, I don't have any of that. Thank you. Arthur L. <clears throat> gifted five people. You got Dreams33, Maurice Martin, William Justice, GMA Debe. Four. Oh, and then Allie. So that is from Arthur L., all those people. And then I'm just looking through people that get pods. That's right, pods. Air, not AirPods. That's that, that is that fucking dog movie. I don't have Apple. I got an Apple phone. Look, I'm like the worst fucking person. <clears throat> um, I got an Apple phone. I don't even know what version it is. 15? I got it like four years ago. Four years ago. I don't, is it a 14 or 15 or 13? I have no idea. <clears throat> I got a, a computer, an Apple computer. It's a desktop. I don't even know what it's called. Um, I got like a little keyboard. And then uh, it's an all-in-one. Air Mac? I think the name is an Air Mac. Like that's how I am, dude. Like I don't know how I don't know how anything on the computer barely works. It just makes enough for me to make a fucking show, right? But you get me access <clears throat> with a fucking mouse, get a computer that's on, and I can find amazing shit to make you hundreds of millions of dollars. Isn't that fucking weird? <clears throat> like I don't know how to do almost anything on this Apple computer. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't know how to I can't do anything, but I know how to locate information, do deep dives and investigations and shit, and pull together a show and teach you everything you need to know. I can uncover and hide. I, I can find all the little, a lot of the hiding spots that these fuckers have done to hide crypto news from you. I can bring it out and show you, but I don't know how to do simple shit on this computer. I can't do shit. It's the weirdest fucking thing. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> that's where I think like people come, it's important to have a variety of friends, which I do. Like one guy's good at this. This guy's good at that. Da, 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 da. So <clears throat> I can have, I can call a friend and say, Hey, could you come over and show me how to do that? And I can show you how to be a millionaire. It's like that. Right. And they're like, what? <laughs> so I did. All my friends are now hooked up with crypto. There's one or two that are not. <clears throat> one guy's a mechanic and he's just like, well, why, how about this? I'll build you a car, the best damn Trans Am you can imagine, all wheel drive and shit and blah, blah, blah. And, but I don't want to buy any crypto. Just hire, if you want to buy, ha, buy, fit, have any cars made, just have me do it. I'm just like, well, don't you want to learn about this? He doesn't want to learn about it. 
So, all right. Joey Fat Toes, only a name a mother could love. Dude, did you hear about the Ripple Party? Going to be awesome. I can't wait to stand around and be ignored. Yeah, it, that's sad. Look, I mean, if you want to go and have fun and meet people and, <clears throat> I, you know, kind of a thing, I don't want to burst your bubbles. I've already talked on it. Then go and be a part of, try to be a part of something, okay? But just realize, like, what what it really is. Like, once you watch my show and you learn what really this whole Ripple thing is and the government, but if you just want to go and forget about stuff, act like a damn fool, pretend to be a part of something because you're a part of nothing at all, and you want to go and take the pictures and meet these different people, then, then have fun. You know, life's short enough, and go there and meet these people. And But, uh, you know... I'll, I'll move on. I don't want to. If you want to have fun, then have fun. But just don't listen to these people for financial crypto advice. Go there, play the role, play the game. Hey, man, you're awesome. Oh, yeah, the crypto hulk. He's a fucking asshole. Dude, dude, I don't care. It's fine. Have fun. Don't make enemies when you're there. Once these people find out you love the show, you're going to be like, oh, get away. So don't, ta don't say nothing about the show. Just have fun. Get your pictures taken and stuff. And, um, don't listen to them with any kind of financial shit. That whole Ripple Las Vegas is going to be invest in this. Do this. Stake that. Did it, do, don't get mixed up in any of that shit. Okay? Go there. Have fun. Drink. Smoke. Whatever. Don't do it. Don't drink. Don't Whatever. Just don't invest in what any of these fuckers have. Okay? And remember, anybody who's anybody there is on a non-disclosure agreement. I'm not saying they're lying, but they cannot tell you the truth. All right? All right. Dennis H. <clears throat> that Vegas party is a crypto fluffer convention. <laughs> oh my god! So again, if you are a fanboy and got five hundred bucks, come on down and join the fluff party. <laughs> oh, my oh, this guy is too funny. Last chance says the show restarts on me all the time. Don't know why. Um, maybe it's time for me today to delete the YT app, reload it again. Everybody should do that like three times a week. <clears throat> um, the other possibility, here's a bad thing. In the end, you might have to get a whole brand new YouTube account, change your name. Don't use the same credit card to pay, borrow somebody else's. I've had people do that before and it works. <clears throat> like it's somehow the algorithm messes with your channel and, it's just, it's done. Then you got to start a whole brand new username and all that shit, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and start. Joey Fat Toes makes a comment. Frankie here from Philly. First time member and you're doing a great job. Thanks, Frankie. I got to go to work right now and make money. So here we go. Hong Kong. Hong Kong! Where do I... Oh, there it goes. Um, we're at the 23-minute mark. You know, it's a Saturday. It's my day off. Crypto Hulk's really not here. I'm an artificial intelligence-generated image and voice. <clears throat> so I might make mistakes where Crypto Hulk normally does Monday through Friday. Okay, here we go. <laughs> People are like, nope, that's crypto. Once he starts cussing and shit and putting down other channels, that's crypto hole. <clears throat> Hong Kong. <laughs> now, if he cusses the whole fucking time, that's crypto hole. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hong Kong welcomes crypto with a new initiative for stablecoin issuers. A new initiative for stablecoin. Issuers. Isn't this interesting? I'm just like one to two days ago, Ripple just comes out with a stable. They have a coming out of the closet and they're embracing who they really are. And just all of a sudden now, Hong Kong comes out of the closet as well. Very interesting with the timing, isn't it? Now, Hong Kong's a Ripple partner. I'm going to show you this in the end. 
So trust and believe, none of this fucking shit's a coincidence. It's all a coordinated event. <clears throat> Hong Kong another leap forward at ZA Bank. Executives are in talks to start providing banking services to several stablecoin issuers. <clears throat> what I want to show you now, everybody, is this stablecoin thing is now what's going to pop first, okay? <clears throat> I say spring of next year. That's been my whole fucking thing. As reported by BNN Bloomberg, alternate chief executive Devin Sin said the virtual lending firm would provide fiat service accounts to such firms once their officially approved access to the Hong Kong Monetary Authority and Ripple Partner Regulatory Sandbox. The company is already speaking to five corporate clients. ZA Banks welcome stablecoin issuers. Stablecoin use cases are very diverse, be it in wholesale, Ripple. Didn't Ripple just come out the other day and said they have a stablecoin? Yep, that's wholesale or retail. Look, you guys that don't know, the Hong, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority is like the government there. They've done so many deals with Ripple. I've shown it 50 of them. Well, not 50. <clears throat> I've shown like 10 situations where the Hong Kong Monetary Authority is partnering up with Ripple Labs. Got it. <clears throat> um, and they've only been partners for about 10 years. No big deal. You won't see this on any other channel. I'm going to show you evidence that no other channel can show you because they're too busy promoting their sponsors. They don't want to do the deep dive stuff because um, their sponsors probably tell them, hey, don't show the truth. Just read off what's on the top news and don't get any deep dive stuff or you're going to lose your money. My channel works. You pay me online to show all the deep diving stuff. Now, I'm not going to give exact names and <clears throat> you know I'm not trying to lose a channel. But there's no other channel that deep dives like this because these people know their channel is going to get tossed. <clears throat> Stablecoin uses are very diverse, be it in wholesale <clears throat> or retail markets. So now check it out. You've got Stellar working with Circle, <clears throat> which is a stable coin. That's retail. Now we have Ripple that came out and told everybody they're going to have a stable coin that's wholesale. See how this article is talking about wholesale and retail? Because Hong Kong's a Ripple partner. We are keen to explore how to put the stable coins, listen to this, into real world use. Oh my God. There's two things we need to be rich. Global crypto regulations are number one. After that, global tokenization of real world assets. Okay. <clears throat> um, stable coins are cryptocurrencies backed one to one with fiat currencies or other relatively stable assets such as the U.S. dollar. Let me repeat just the first part. Stable coins are cryptocurrencies. Let me read the title of this article. <clears throat> Hong Kong welcomes crypto with new initiatives for cryptocurrency issuers. Hey, that sounds pretty good now, don't it? Notice how they just changed the words in there? They don't want you to see all this. <clears throat> Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read one more paragraph, and I'm going to change any kind of stablecoin word. We're going to change it into cryptocurrency. Tell me how it sounds. <clears throat> Here we go. Cryptocurrency use cases are very different. Oh, yes, they are. Some are cryptos are smart contracts. Some are commodities currencies, secure, some cryptos are securities. So it is very too. Crypto use cases are very diverse. Some are wholesale and some are like Ripple and some are retail like Stellar. It's starting to sound the pretty fucking good, isn't it? Crypto settlement for exchange trading. Okay. It says here, 
cryptos backed one to one with fiat or other relatively stable assets such as the US dollar, um, re reliable cryptos require 100% backed reserves to keep the asset pegged. Oh, now we're starting to see where this goes, aren't we? With the whole Ripple thing. With gold, what are they going to back? You know, they said they're going to have XRP as a state. Well, they said, no, Ripple said they're going to come out with a stable coin. <clears throat> Is it going to be an XRP? What kind of stable coin they come out with? Retail? Wholesale? They say they're going to back it with money or whatever. And then they said other equivalents. Oh, what if some of those other equivalents are gold, silver? Right? want you to watch <clears throat> Hong Kong adoption unlike its neighbors in China Hong Kong is pushing to restore its appeal as a crypto hub <clears throat> by welcoming digital assets crypto and establishing clear regulations for the industry I have a question I'm gonna show you the truth bomb right now here we go Let me do a copy and a paste. I want to show you Ripple's partner right there. Let me go to the community page. There's a lot of times YT won't post my stuff here. Let me click on that. Go to community. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I showed you that. Go to the 31 second mark. 31 second mark. What do you see? Ripple Hong Kong copyright 2014. The largest Ripple gateway in Hong Kong. Oh, damn, Crypto Hall. Now, this article kind of looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. Now that I just showed you that, no other channel has this kind of information. <clears throat> what Crypto Hulk does is I read off an article of today and relate it back with evidence 10 years ago. No, no other channel can do this. That's why my channel is superior. So I can have you see stuff when Hong Kong is looking at stable coins and what are they doing? Are, are they just testing them? What do you think after 10 fucking years they're testing them? That's what people know on my channel. They hear me show this stuff. I can teach with authority because I have all the evidence. Hong Kong ain't doing no fucking shit where we're testing shit. You don't test shit for 10 years, okay? Ripple's been there 10 years. They've done this shit a long time ago with Ripple Singapore, actually. I'm the only channel that taught that. We're not getting into Ripple Singapore right now. Sean B., a little behind. Good. Gold. Gold. Yes. Get the gold. Uh, Michelle Wilkie, thank you very much for that donation there, lady. Then we got Frankie Nimble. Frankie, thanks for your donation. Listener supported. Bro, Seth, thank you again for yours. This is to cover, cover a couple cusses. Uh I see what's going on there. B Digital 589, member for three months, says Hulk is the best. Smash the rest. We know it's not an AI. Okay. I'll let me get rid of somebody here real quick. Hold on. I love it. I'm going to report you for something. And your channel goes bye-bye. Love it. <clears throat> um, all right, let me scroll down here. <clears throat> Sean B. had to start over at the 12-minute mark, so I'm a little behind. All right, next article. <clears throat> Coinbase. This is massive right here. Oh, man. This is going to greenlight crypto 
This is massive right here. Gary Gensler literally just got kicked in the testicles uh, if he had them. Let's just assume he does. <clears throat> Let's go over this article. Coinbase cleared in a lawsuit over crypto transactions. <clears throat> Isn't this something? The court's decision hinged significantly on interpreting Coinbase's user agreements, which evolved over time. What happens is the appeals court looked at um, the website of Coinbase and looked at their wording and how they worded things when they sold XRP. You have to be careful how you sell. You can't make it look like it's going to be an investment. And you're going to make a lot of money and this and that. <clears throat> um, Coinbase, one of the leading cryptocurrency exchanges, has achieved a significant victory in an ongoing lawsuit. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit has ruled <clears throat> in favor of Coinbase. Now, let me tell you something. Let me ask you a question. Ripple got in a trial. Why didn't Ripple's case ever get to a court of appeal? How is it Coinbase gets in a trial and six months later they have an appeals court make a decision? Don't you think this is kind of fucked up? I do. Why is Ripple still at it three years later? Fake court case. Crypto Hulk has been calling this a fake court case. For three years now. How is it <clears throat> Ripple's been in a court case for three years? Coinbase gets in one six months later. Somehow an appeals court makes a decision and then it's by Coinbase. Have a nice day. Ripple, sit down. You're still in trouble. You see what the fuck this is? Fake trial. Okay. Fake fucking trial. I'm not getting in this article any more than this. <clears throat> I've already gone over how the United States in 2015 already determined that Ripple was a currency uh, provider, a uh, money service business, and that the XRP was considered money. I've already shown all this. These other channels have no fucking clue. They're going to show you, oh, the court trial today, here's what happened. They're just trying to get views so their sponsor pays them. They're not trying to fucking teach you. So when you go to this little Ripple Las Vegas thing, they don't give a fuck about you. It's about view numbers. They're not trying to teach you shit. <clears throat> Let me check the um, live chat. We'll go to the next article, and it's a big one. It's the grande. It's, it's El Jefe Grande. El Patron Grande. Sean B. <clears throat> Fred. Green Label found. He found Johnny Walker Green Label. <coughs> okay. <coughs> the Green Label, it's going to have a lot of peat, P-E-A-T, a peat moss kind of flavor. You'll definitely know that it's scotch. It does have a preponderance of vegetable kind of peat flavor-ish. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I love it. I, it's good. It's not my favorite, but it's good because it's different. So enjoy that stuff. I I think I might have some Patron again tonight. Remember, I was buying those bottles at 30 bucks a pop. They were like 50% off or so. Nineteen-seventy <clears throat> legend gave 20 people memberships again. My God. Let's read over these. The recruitment office is still open on a Saturday night. Join. Evo Arsov, meditation. Can't read that one. L. Juniax. Cosmos 81, Dale Patterson. Richard <clears throat> S.H. Miles Savini, 76 Barnett. Um, CC. Marco Fox, Mr. M. Car. Cali Hippo, <clears throat> T2 Sugars, Robert, SCWXDV, Mark Hayes, Box Parody, 
Sam Samir Abbas, Abdullah or Abdullah Bander, and Aisha. Those people got memberships by 1970 legend. This person's just a member of the channel. <clears throat> Gives away a lot of memberships to people because that person, the 1970 legend, wants you to change your life to be rich. <clears throat> 1970 legend finds a lot of truth on this channel and says the recruitment office never sleeps. <laughs> Um, next article. <clears throat> We're talking about global payments again. This is big. Global payments. Let me show you the article. I'll post it here and on the community page. Now, looky here. Here's the title. It's on a website called Payments, P-Y-M-N-T-S. <clears throat> There's a company called SWAN, S-W-A-N. They're a global payments company, and they tap a company called WISE, W-I-S-E, to enable international payments for European companies. <clears throat> European embedded finance firm is called Swan. They've integrated Wise platform to enable clients to send money and receive to more than 190 countries. Everybody, that's like the whole world. Are you seeing this now? <clears throat> what we're seeing, we're getting close, everybody. We're getting really, really close. I can, we can hear the giant's footsteps approaching. That's why I want to show, I'm not going to read the article, I'm going to spare you all the pain. Lots of pain. We have ways of making you talk. <clears throat> but let's look into this a little deeper here. Crypto Hulk did a little looky-loo on what the hell is wise, okay? I think you're going to find it very interesting. I have to do a little deep dive. Jason Schotch. I'm with Stu. Jason Schatz, thanks for that. Appreciate it. I did. Uh, hold on. Stuart Lavelle's laughing. <clears throat> Stuart Lavelle, shh, don't blow my cover. Okay, I already saw it twice. Can't hide. <laughs> <clears throat> wise let me uh go to the community page do a paste on wise so you see it okay there's the website for wise let's go over the website i've clicked on the business there's personal and then there's business i went for business <clears throat> well looky right here ripple competitors and alternatives ripple is a payment solution that can help your everyday business but ripple isn't your only option in this article, we'll dive into the top Ripple competitors and alternatives for your business. <clears throat> now, Wise is a money service business. <clears throat> it says here, Wise is not a bank, but a money service business provider <clears throat> and a smart alternative to banks. Let's scroll down and see who, uh, what they're talking about here. I'm pretty sure Wise works with all these companies right here. There's something called HyperWallet. It's made with PayPal. PayPal just started working with Ripple. <clears throat> At least made it known recently, okay? So HyperWallet would be like a Ripple-type possibility. Venmo. <clears throat> Venmo is a product that just started working with PayPal and Ripple. We scroll down, there's Skrill, Salonius, Preedly, Paystand, Go Cardless, Apple Pay, Ripple Partner from day one. I'm going to show you that. Plastic, I don't have evidence. That might be a Ripple company. I'm almost positive, but I'm not going to say. <coughs> then there's Adian, Braintree, Dwala, Verifone, Zora. 
Convera Recurly authorized uh, Air Wallex Ripple Partner, a globally recognized financial technology company. Air Wallex is known for handling. So these are all Ripple Partners. <clears throat> now I'm not saying Wise is working with Ripple, but here's my opinion: they're working with Ripple. <clears throat> Let's look at the evidence right here. They're going to pretend like they know nothing at all. Oh, shit. We don't know nothing about Ripple. I'm going to show you all this. They only list like half of these companies are Ripple partners, but that's not they're not with them, right? Okay. First one, Wise showed, was PayPal. Here's an article from a few days ago. <clears throat> you got Visa and PayPal. Visa is so in deep with Ripple. They spent like $1.25 billion on Ripple technology Visa did. So you got PayPal who's linked in with Visa, PayPal who's linked in with Venmo, showing it right here. They're all together with Western Union and a company called Current. And there's also something called Cross River Bank and Pfizer. Both of those are Ripple partners. I'm going to show you it right now. Here's the first one, Cross River. Here's the evidence that the article we just read is all about Ripple, that wise company. <clears throat> There's that. Let me send it to the community page. What do we have here? Cross River Bank integrates with Ripple. This is 2014. <clears throat> also, with that Venmo, PayPal, we're still talking about Ripple partners here. Look at this, Pfizer, F-I-S-E-R-V, Ripple partner right there. It looks to me like wise. They're very wise. They know exactly what's going on. Now, they're not going to go out and admit they're working with Ripple, but almost all their service providers are working with Ripple. Very interesting, huh? Here's the Air Wallex. Here's proof that Air Wallex is a Ripple partner. I'll show you that one. Let me go to the community page and drop it there. Okay, there's your Air Wallex proof. Visa, if you're brand new, here's proof that Visa dumps $950 billion into a Ripple company. <clears throat> and on the community page, you can find it. And then Visa also drops another 250 million on Ripple technology. It looks to me like Ripple's definitely a partner, huh? If, if not officially, <clears throat> they might not come out and say it right now. But that's okay. I got the evidence. They don't need to say it. I have the fucking evidence. Visa doesn't need to say shit. There. There's all your evidence for everything that I've claimed. Let me look at these comments here real quick. And I see that Dennis H. Evidence shows XRP is the only coin that has the liquidity to settle JP Morgan's $10 trillion a day. That's why Ripple... Never signed a deal with Circle to mint USDC. They will mint coin backed by cash and equivalent. Well, now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you why JP Morgan never signed with Circle. Got the evidence right here. Crypto Hulks always got the evidence. I'm going to post it on the community page. <clears throat> there you go with that. Now I'm going to post it on the top chat. I'm going to read Dennis's comment again. Evidence shows that XRP is the only coin that has the liquidity to settle JP Morgan's $10 trillion a day. Here's your evidence right here. Ripple Partner and JP Morgan. Join forces. What is this? <clears throat> you have something called Al Fardon Exchange. What do exchanges do? They move money, don't they? And this Al, Far Ar Al Farhad Exchange joined up with JP Morgan. Al Farhad Exchange 
runs on XRP. Therefore, JP Morgan and Ripple are partners via Al Farhad Exchange. There's your evidence. Next question. See how easy this is? <clears throat> That's why JP Morgan's not going with uh, fucking Stellar because they move big fucking money and they're already partners with Ripple. I just showed you. Dennis H, damn bro, right on time, XRP equivalent to, holy moly. There you go. Dennis, you come up with some great stuff, I do have to admit. Okay, next. Um, let's go to Zimbabwe. I'm going to show you something very awesome in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Look at what the fuck is going on in Zimbabwe. I, I read this, and I'm like, no fucking way. I think this is a trend, folks. Trends that are your friends. <clears throat> okay, let's look here. What's the title? <clears throat> when do you see this one coming? Zimbabwe, a country in Africa, launches new gold-backed currency. Holler if you hear me. Uh, Zimbabwe's central bank. Oh, man launched a new structured currency backed by gold. Everybody, that's why I went out and bought gold today. <clears throat> I haven't bought crypto for four fucking years. I've been buying gold only the last year. Zimbabwe is backing money. Now you tell me, no one's going to do this shit? Just them, right? Oh, no. It starts with the little countries and works its way up. Because if America did all this, we just blow everybody away. It all starts with these little ones. That's why I'm showing you. Coming soon to a theater near you. Don't I always say this? It always comes true. Okay, you're going to see this happening all around the world now. <clears throat> all the gold. You're going to see the price of gold fucking skyrocket. Okay? Uh, it's backed by gold as it seeks to tackle sky-high inflation. What does the United States have now? Sky-high inflation. Zimbabwe is going to back their money with gold. It's going to replace the Zimbabwe dollar, which has tumbled in value over the past year. <clears throat> um, banks shall convert. I like the word shall. That's a very legal beagle word. Shall means will. Must. They will. <clears throat> convert. They're going to convert whoa, whoa, whoa. the current Zimbabwe dollar balances into the new currency. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm showing what's going to happen to the United States dollar. <clears throat> They're going to go to a gold-backed dollar, and your paper dollars you have now will convert into the new currency. I'm showing you right here. It's happening in Zimbabwe. It's going to happen everywhere. That's why I had to make a show today. This shit is fucking massive. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> he also announced a drastic cut in the bank's main interest rate from 130% down to 20%. Oh, man. The ZIG, the name of their new gold-backed dollar is called the ZIG, Z-I-G. And it will be fully anchored and fully backed, listen, by a, ha by a basket of reserves compromising foreign currency and precious metals. Oh, I'm feeling a baby fist. Wait, wait, hold on. <clears throat> we have a special visitor. And he says that this is huge. And he's showing you his baby fist right there. That's how big it is. I'm telling you. Baby fist time. Thanks, Donald, for stopping by. <clears throat> this is uh, pretty something. I, I, this is going to happen with, <clears throat> with Ripple and the stablecoin thing. I want you to see this. This is what's going to happen. What's going on is this. Banks will convert. Okay, the United States will convert the dollar <clears throat> into the new currency. Okay, now it's starting to make more sense. <clears throat> Whatever country you live in, Thailand will convert the bot into the new gold-backed bot currency. It's a basket. You're going to have every country. Every country is going to do this. I'm showing you now. 
<clears throat> because you're special. But you're going to have a basket of currencies. <clears throat> XRP is going to have a basket of currencies, and it's going to compromise all foreign currencies and precious metals with an S. Gold, silver, platinum, palladium, you name it, rhodium, okay? Precious metals with an S. It didn't say metal. This move is aimed at fostering simplicity, certainty, predictability. You know how Bitcoin goes up and down and then sideways and then down and then up for a day and then down? See what I mean? <clears throat> What basket of currencies is Bitcoin backed with? Nothing. What precious metals back Bitcoin? Nothing. What did Ripple just buy? Tokenization firms. Medico. Medico is one of the, Medico is the biggest crypto custody firm in the world. Ripple also bought Standard Custody, biggest custody in the world, because they're gonna hold. Real world assets called tokens, tokenized shit, gold, silver, and it's going to back the XRP. The XRP is going to make you fucking rich, and that's why I'm here on a Saturday night. My name's Crypto Hulk. Welcome to those people that just showed up. <clears throat> um, Zimbabweans, listen to this. Uh oh, uh oh. <clears throat> Zimbabweans have 21 days to convert their old cash into the new money. Uh-oh, slave time. You notice how they're not talking about what kind of new money this is? Is it a crypto money or is it paper? We don't know, do we? It's going to be crypto, okay? <clears throat> now, they might have paper to go with it. But it's going to be crypto kind of a centric thing. <clears throat> That's the whole goal. Okay, the new banknotes. Here they are. They're, they're going to have paper. The new banknotes feature a drawing of gold ingots being minted. Um, Zimbabwe says they have a lot of gold deposits. Um. But the analysts have questioned whether Zimbabwe really has all that gold. We're going to see, aren't we? I'm going to leave that article. You've got the article. You can look at it yourself. <clears throat> the rest of the world's going to do this. Very interesting. Let me check some comments here. 1970 legend. Get your popcorn and milk duds ready. I love that theater popcorn, and I love milk duds. I have a, I'm on a diet. <laughs> I love buttered popcorn and milk duds. Oh, my gosh. And I like Coca-Cola that comes straight out of the fountain. It always tastes better, unless it's in a bottle, <clears throat> but it uh, tastes better than the can. Why does all the good shit have to make my blood sugar go up? <clears throat> now, uh, wait a second. Now, we're talking about Zimbabwe. It's a Ripple partner, by the way. Ripple's all in Zimbabwe. Let me show you. That's one thing the article didn't tell you. And that's where Crypto Hulk comes in. Let me show you this. <clears throat> Let me go to the community page. Look what I'm showing you right here. This is 2023, about four months ago, five months ago. Ripple partners with Onafric, O-N-A-F-R-I-Q, to provide or to power digital asset cross-border payments between Africa and the rest of the world. <clears throat> if you look all the way down at the bottom, today Ripple serves hundreds of customers in over 55 countries, six continents, and pays out in 70 markets. They list their partners right there. Zimbabwe is written right there. Ripple partner, okay? 
Ripple has a foothold in Zimbabwe sending payments. So when Zimbabwe said today they have a new gold-backed currency with notes and stuff, those notes are going to be interchangeable with the crypto. They got to ease people into it. Eventually, everyone's going to have a phone. They already have. <clears throat> look here. Onifric has 500 million mobile wallet customers already in Africa. They're, they may have crypto banknotes right now, but they ain't going to last long because that 500 million wallet in Africa is going to grow. Okay. That's one and a half times the size of the United States. And guess what? That's the end of the show. It's all my uh, evidence is gone. We click out. I think we completed our assignment for tonight. Two, we got the Zimbabwe one, the Onifric. That one is then J.P. Morgan. That's it. I read all the evidence. I'm done. <clears throat> um, how much gold is there? Great show as usual, says Bob Alberti. Mr. Mister's like, no. <clears throat> hey, it's an hour and one minute. I made it to like the hour mark. <clears throat> 1970 legend likes Dr. Pepper. I don't think I've ever liked Dr. Pepper. It's never one of my oh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh my god! Now we gotta start talking about all this fucking food shit. Okay, <clears throat> earlier I showed a picture. I went to a Mexican restaurant. <clears throat> I had maybe ten nacho chips, like those little chips to dip shit in. I had about ten, so it wasn't that much. No rice. That little round corn ball thing, didn't touch it. This had all kinds of vegetables, steak, and about 10 chips, corn chips, whatever they call them. Came home about an hour ago. I don't, I don't like eating late, but I had a few of those strips of meat with the vegetables. So I'm telling you, I'm on this uh, low-carb, lower-carb diet thing, feeling much better. Uh, not as much soreness. I did legs. <clears throat> um, yesterday and i'm surprised today my legs are not as sore so i think that whatever it's it's working this uh very lower carbohydrate thing is working later in about another <clears throat> i'm still not on any of the anti-aging shit yet i wait for the growth hormone to show up i want to take it all at once um <clears throat> but i i got all the stuff it's uh tessamorelin i take that every night it's supposed to like 10 i use <clears throat> pregnal <clears throat> which is um, luteinizing hormone. Then I got testosterone, an anti-estrogen, and then an anti-aromatase. Now I'm waiting on the uh, HGH to show up. And then I'll, when I get all that stuff together, <clears throat> I'll show you all what it looks like. And then um, you can kind of pick if you're interested which one you want. But um, I'm working on the lower, the lowering the carbohydrate at first. And then after that, it's starting to limit the portions. Load lower on my portions, and I'll probably start implementing more liquid protein, like uh, protein shake, um, isolate way. So I'll <clears throat> first go, I, I got to do this to where I don't fucking lose my mind. So first thing is reducing the carbs, and then when I get to the carbs low enough, then it's replace some of the food with isolate way protein shakes with zero carb in them and uh that's then when that's when pounds will start dropping so at first i'm gonna take the calories in deal with it, eat peanuts here and there not worry about fat none of that shit <clears throat> get off the sugar kind of diet thing and then start to reduce those and then replace with protein powder liquid there you go that's probably going to occur in uh, when i start reducing my food portions Two, three weeks. <clears throat> I've got a I've got a pretty good handle on the Crypto Hulk challenge. The eating lower carbs. I got a pretty good handle. Another one, two, three weeks, and I'll be a fucking champ. And then at that point, it's looking at my plate and saying, Do I need to eat all of that? Can I reduce some of it? And then 
the missed protein that I get, I'll get from protein drink. And that's what the plan is. And then by then I'll be on all my supplement stuff. And um, yeah, there you go. So you older guys like me, that's what I'm up to. Um, I think that's it. Apple cider vinegar. I can't do that. No, no, no. Okay, that is it. It's my Friday. Well, I know it's Saturday, but it's my Friday night. Um, because I didn't have to work out or nothing today. <clears throat> and what time? Sunday, I'm going to do a show. Right now, it's Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Sunday is going to be like maybe a 6 p.m. Pacific show. Something like that, possibly. So, in about 22 hours from now, I'll be doing a show. 20, 21 hours or something, whatever it fucking is. 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific is about when I'll start my show tomorrow. And all of you take care. No drinking and driving. Take it easy on your alcohol. No drugs. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>